Well, a growing number of kids in the U.S. are playing sports seriously at a young age, but new research shows that specializing in one single sport may increase injuries and burnout for really young kids. Dr. Matt Ellington is here with us to talk about this new study. He's also he's a pediatric orthopedic surgeon at Dell Children's Medical Center. Good morning, Dr. Ellington. Good morning. Thank you all for having me. All right. So you're, as I was saying, you look at the little kids, and not sure. little kids, they're all kids. Sure. But, you know, their bones and their joints. So um, what are you seeing in your practice that kind of coincides with the study? Tell us about the study first. Sure. So the study really just showed that kids that are specializing in single sports, especially also year-round sports, are just having an increase in the amount of what we call overuse injuries. Okay. Okay. So overuse injuries, and these make up about half of all sports injuries in kids. And our goal is hopefully these are kind of preventable um, injuries. What are some of the sports? So some of the sports, baseball is a big one, especially here in Texas. Football is a big one. Um, tennis, swimming. I mean, see, know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect swimming. Sure. I would expect swimming to yes. be a little lighter on the sure. joints and the bones, but not the case. Well, it's a lot of the out of the pool activities okay. they do, the running, jumping, and things like that. Okay. And so, you know, we hear parents say all the time, no, my kid needs to focus on one sport because I'm a soccer mom and I'm driving all these kids around sure. and I need one sport. But, but because they're focusing so much on it, and is, is that what it is also, too, that they're putting kind of all of their energy and effort into this one sport, whereas if they could spread all that energy out over a couple sports to be a little bit better. Yes, exactly. And the biggest thing to think too is kids are not little adults. That's what you kind of think of. So the 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 reason that kids are a little different is that their skeletons are actually growing faster than their muscle tendon unit. And as this happens, you have uh, increase in inflexibility, altered mechanics, muscle imbalance, which can all lead to injury. Um, okay, so. say that again, though in a tone sure. that we in a way that we okay. can understand it. <clears throat> so so as your bones grow and especially in kids, especially during growth spurts, the bones actually grow faster. Okay. And the muscles and tendons that attach the bones together don't grow as fast as the bones Which is do. protection around those... those Correct. Ice. And and it helps for flexibility. Okay. And so if, you're, if your muscles are tighter than your bones, they're holding, you know, you're not able to extend your oh, arm, or extend your knee as I much. See. I and this see. can lead to increased stresses on those joints. I see. Uh, okay, so injuries. what are some, uh, we're talking about some of the signs and symptoms, and then we'll talk treatment. Sure. How could parents realize it and know what makes them say, oh, my kid, this, this sure. is happening to my kid? Sure. So listen to your kids. If they start complaining of little pains, especially around joints, um, after they start playing activities, you know, kind of sit down, take a look at it, and think, you know, are you practicing two hours a day? Mm -hmm. Are you are you having tournaments every weekend? Is it mm -hmm. you know is there no rest in sight? Then maybe you should kind of start looking back at it because this can then advance to pain during activities and then pain that limits activities. And I'm wondering also too, just sidebar, how sure. much does this mean that the parent kind of backs off and says, maybe I don't have a future Serena Williams here. Maybe yes. I don't have a future <laughs> Michael. Yes. You know, I, I'd be lying here. if I said I've never heard that. that you know, my <laughs> right. kid is the next Serena. Right. Yes, exactly. So, <laughs> so maybe it's the parents backing off too. So then when the parent brings a kid to, to see you, how do you treat them? Sure. So, I mean, the biggest thing is kind of looking to and talking to the kids and see what their goals are, what their wants are, and then talking to the parents and kind of getting them to formulate a plan and formulate a, a desire kind of what they what they want to do. And, then, and would that would that include maybe adding another sport or stopping the one altogether? So, you know, it could be a little bit of both. It could be adding another sport because that just helps different motions of your bodies. You know, different sports require different motions and then as well as rest. So rest is a big thing. You don't, you don't want kid going from, you know, just because, just if if you do diversify and you start and you know soccer season ends June you know 30th and then baseball starts July 1st mm -hmm. then you know you're not yeah. really helping yourself that yeah. much. Yeah this is gonna I, I, this is gonna cause parents to say sure. you know either you're gonna have to do a little more work or just 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 ease off. Sure. Dr. Ellington thank you so much. Well, thank y'all. All right.